Now that we're on the valve job part, I've already went in there and dug the 60 and what I'm doing right now is coming across the top. hitting them with a 30 degree. Now, on a few of these, you could see the blue ring where they didn't meet, which showed how bad out of round they are. All right, I want to show you this. Now, I'm totally not seeing no blue on the bottom, but watch this. All right, you can see the blue. Hell, let me get the pilot out of the way. I'll reposition it for you. Okay, that was just a touch bump, but you can see where that blue ring is. Now, if I take the head and pull it right here, look at the bottom part, guess what? There is virtually no ring. You can barely see an image of it. This right here tells you how bad out of round these seats were. That's the first thing. So really, no blue line here till it starts to get here. You can see it starting to get blue and over here. But now when I lay it back, look how definitive the blue line is here. That's your out of round. That's what's making that run out dial. Now if you remember, I started here on this side, which is directly on the bottom. And by the time it got up here, it was eight thousandths out of round on the one that you see. So pretty much they're all coming in except for a couple was as much as 12. So what you got to do now is keep taking that 30 and grinding it down and then come back up with a 60 because you, you want to go back and forth between the two because if you start digging too much in one direction, it's going to sink that valve and keep breaking it down. Now, I've been checking it, and what I've got is on all the ones that I got the seeds to come in, I'm hitting about 10 thousandths. Uh, 12 was my farthest down. That's not a big deal. Since all of them are coming down, I'm not digging a ridge. I'm not getting into the aluminum because I trimmed the stone so that it would try to keep as much machinist ridge out of it as, as possible. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Let's reposition. Okay. Now let's hit her again. And holding it, the way you're holding it makes a lot of difference. I'm trying to get it dead. Alright, let's pull her on back straight some. Alright, you can still see the blue line. It's still there. So I'm going to sharpen my stone again. This is how you take the run out problem out of it. You keep going back and forth. Now I'm going to take the 60 and just kiss off on it a little bit. I'm going to remove one of the springs. Oh, the springs are absolutely key, by the way, man. You got to have them in there. Now I'm just going to kiss it a little bit. So, went back in there and just, you know, lightly touched it with the 60 to pull it up. Now, it's probably amazing how much out of round it took, but I take my valve and um, got my black marks on there. That is exactly where I want it, and by the impression of the mark and where it laid it at, I'm just about exactly where I want to be. Uh, one thing to note is that the line was way up tall near the very top on the original valve job. I guess that's just the way Elderbrock done it. And I try to pull it down and get it about 10 thousandths below, so it could use a little kiss to get it exactly where it needed to be. So, I'm going to hit it one time, okay, I dressed it back off, I'm going to touch it again. Alright. So, now that's where it needs to be. Now, let's talk about something here just a minute, let me reposition. Just like on the other small box I did the other day, you see right here, you can see the 30 angle and right there where it comes because you can barely see a look like a hint of black line. 
The seat's way up here. Look at all this amount of seat right here. Wow, that is a bunch. Now, same way over here, if we direct our tension over to the intake. Now, remember the problem that we had with the bowl and the aluminum being bigger and then the seat coming up here and tightening a considerable amount. What this is going to let me do when I position that seat way up here is take my scribe and cut me the radius I won't be able to take my die grinder and come in here to angle and grind on that seat and try to pull some of that out. You know, there ain't much. You can do a little bit. You can't do a whole lot because you can um, weaken the seat. But I know how much I can grind out of it to get it to come in where that way I can pull the aluminum bowl into it without having that big debit. If I would have had it, this is a 202 intake valve the head uses. If I had a 205 valve, I could totally straighten this problem out. But uh, because they went in here at Elderbrock and dug on that damn bowl, I'm not going to be able to really straighten this problem out 100%, but I'm going to be able to help it a whole bunch and make a, a good difference in it. All right, so I'm going to go on, and uh, we're going to, when I get ready to switch to the intakes, I'll let you catch the intake, but I've got the exhaust pretty much done and in, in position where I want them, and I'm going to show you where I got them on the face of the valve in just a minute. Let's kiss off on this intake. I'm going to go in there first and just touch it. Okay. And I always go back and kind of stretch my stomach. Get it laid in. Now, one indicator is to look beside you at the other seat and see about how much you had to trim. That's pretty close. So, I'm going to take my second mark valve. Wow, right exactly where I wanted it, about 10 thousandths up from the edge. So, let's take a look from another angle right here see how close I got them you can see the 30 top cuts uh, right here and then right here I mean they about look the same with look at all the meat when I hit that seat right there I'm gonna have if I put my scribe tool on it scribe my line where I'm gonna be able to go in there with uh, maybe a pineapple or an egg and cut that out and let it belly and come off into that aluminum. I know, like I said, I'm not going to be able to totally straighten it out with a 202, but I should give it a lot better than that bullshit that Elderbrocks give this man. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, back off for a minute and complete them, and the next step will be docking them up and getting ready to hit the 45 degree 